Aditya sir, we are live on Facebook, uh, on YouTube. Is the screen visible? No. Screen is not? Yes, yes, it is. Sound is not audible, sir. Namaskar. Literacy is a bridge from misery to hope. With these words, I welcome one and all to episode four of Rapid Talks with Rich, Rapid Talks with Rechna series two, where we discuss about the skill developments required for the children and how to go for it. Today's topic for discussion is phonics, and we have an expert to throw some light on it. But before that. Let me highlight a few facts about Fun to Learn and Ms. Rachna Bhim Rajka. Ms. Rachna Bhim Rajka, founder of Fun to Learn, is a dynamic, enthusiastic, innovative, dedicated, and a focused entrepreneur and educationist for more than one and a half decade. A handwriting expert, graphologist, career counselor, conducts several training programs and workshops for different age groups. Recipients of many awards, such as Dada Sahib Phalke Icon Award 2019, World Record Holder UK, and many more. She is the Vice President for Wiki, and she's also Coordinator of SARC Regional Committee of Global Youth Parliament, National Advisor at World Teachers Association, Corporate Associate of Association of Primary Education and Research, APO, and the list goes on. So with this, myself, Aditya Bissaria welcomes all of you and hand the word to Ms. Rachna Bhim Rajka to throw some light for today's event. Thank you, Aditya Bissaria, sir. A very warm welcome to our speaker, moderator, guest, and the viewers who are watching us live at Rapid Talks with Rachna Series 2, an initiative by Fun to Learn. Now, Aditya Sa has very briefly briefed about Fun to Learn. Now, our Honorable Prime Minister Modi Ji has, in the new education policy, has emphasized on the skills development uh, beyond academics and what can be skills development at the early initial years, whether it be handwriting, abacus, or jolly phonics. So today we will be discussing, today our guest speaker is Mr. Joshna Gururaj. She is an academic advisor with 20 years of experience and ex-principal in the education management industry, preschool expertise with the proven abilities in problem solving and people management, strong consulting professional with a master's in psychological counseling, focus in child psychology, certified in Montessori methods of teaching. International Baccalaureate, International Preschool Curriculum Designing. She is also a Rotarian, Global Goodwill Ambassador, and associated with Early Childhood Association, Council Member of Women Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. She is uh, felicitated with many awards and honors. Few to name is the Education Icon Miss Future, Nation Builder Award, received National School Awards, Nari Tu Narayani Samman, Acharya Chanakya Sikshavit Samman, and many more. To moderate the today's session is Mr. Aditya Bisarya, who is the Managing Director Ganges School, Founder Director Ganges Vanshala, educationist with over 17 years of experience and specialization in early childhood education, a follower of educational guidelines as led by Swami Vivekanand, 
and Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam ensures that holistic education is achieved by the children and parents collaboration. Practices inclusive of education and he has been awarded with the title of Edu Icon Mr. Motivation 2018, Acharya Chanakya Siksha with Samman to name a few. Now today to discuss, uh, today we will be discussing about phonics. How phonics is uh, very much important in the initial years of reading. When we talk about phonics, phonics means it is a science of sound. Method of teaching beginners to read and pronounce words by learning the phonetic value of le letters, letter groups, and especially syllables. So over to you, Aditya sir and Guru uh, Jochna ma'am to take over the session. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Rashna, for this lovely introduction of ours. Really blessed for this and feeling honored. Now, we know all, all of us know that education is the weapon which can be used to change the world. And whenever we exchange knowledge, it enhances and benefits everyone. So to start off with, the first question to Jasna ma'am is, what is phonics? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, Rachna ma'am, Aditya sir, and all the viewers here. I'm very thankful uh, to Rachna ma'am and uh, for your kind introduction of mine in so, uh, so in detail. Thank you so much. And I would like to uh, make you understand uh, about phonics. Phonics involves the relationship between sounds and their spellings. Okay, there are 26 letters in English and those 26 letters are revolved around 42 sounds. You must not be like, you know, many of them may not be knowing about that. For 26 letters, we have 42 sounds, right? Those, the, those sounds which will help the children to uh, understand the sounds and blend and join the letter sounds to make words and further words from words to frame the sentences, read the books. So phonics is so important from the earliest, right? Okay, yeah. so uh, earlier we have done something uh, of this kind, but it was not scientifically designed. Yes. It was just, and uh, I will give the term as phonic awareness. So uh, how is phonics different from phonemic awareness uh, and how people should uh, take it forward yeah. for the children? Yeah. yeah, actually phonemic awareness is the understanding that words are made up of sounds. But it is not same thing as phonics. Phonemic awareness deal with sounds in spoken words. Whereas a phonic involves the relationship between sounds and written symbols. The, so therefore phonic deals with learning sound spelling, relationships and is associated with print also. But most of the phonemic awareness talks are very oral, like purely it is oral. Previously, only oral drilling was done. When while writing, the phonic sounds were not taken. The the letter sounds were not taken while writing. When when we when uh, children were practicing uh, while writing, the letter sounds were not related while writing. Only the oral drilling was there. But in phonics, it is the systematic approach. The phonics is a systematic approach wherein. The relationship between the written part and the oral part is done. The spoken also, the reading skills also are developed and the written skills also are developed with the phonics, with the help of phonics. Okay, so basically phonics help the children in handling and evolving their all the four departments which we segregate as listening, speaking, reading and writing and does it in a scientific and organized structure. Exactly. Very well said, ma'am. Now, before moving ahead, the next question will be, uh, are there any specific skills uh, such as phonics skills for this particular topic of ours? Yeah, uh, actually phonics skill, phonics is a skill, right? So for phonics also, we have some basic skills in phonics introduction, right? So where that we, we need to know the understand the letter sound, we need to understand how to uh, blend the letter sounds. 
we need to understand different actually there are only 42 letter sounds we say but 42 letter sounds are in a different form like uh, like the digraphs are uh, 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 taught the alternative graphemes are taught so there are different skills in the phonics skill itself so for that uh, if if all the all the skills of the phonic is taught to a child the child is ready to read anything which we give so he will be an independent reader and independent writer also great so uh, you mean to say not only knowing and recognizing the sounds but uh, the child should be able to uh, identify the sounds in as a separate individual and when in the group so yes. ability to uh, identify the sounds and correlate with their counterparts for the purpose of reading so yes. this is another set of skill yes, yes. got the point yes thank you and now uh, why is phonics important in early years yeah i should say that see early years we start with the alphabet right the nursery from nursery on right. we, we start right. we start with the alphabet so when the child learns to identify recognize the alphabet so when when the start, uh, start of the alphabet only we need to start the alphabet recognition along with the sound recognition so that the basic foundation is formed the strong foundation is formed because uh, many of the teachers they think that only the letter alphabet recognition is okay fine for nursery but my recommendation is from nursery onwards you have to teach the alphabet along with the sound so the child will be able to recognize the alphabet and along with that sound also is able to recognize and he can blend in words you know one thing by the end of nursery he can form at least two letter words or three letter words by himself or herself great so yes uh, we all know that the brain uh, maximum brain development helps from birth till the age of 8 years and if we are introducing these sounds and skills the earliest then definitely the child will start responding to this at the early thank you and uh, with this the next question comes up how phonics contributes to reading success yeah, yeah. Uh, phonics instruction plays a key role in helping children comprehend text you see phonics inst instruction helps the child to map sounds onto spellings this ability enables children to decode words so decoding words aids in the development and improvement in word recognition so the more words a student recognizes the easier the reading task therefore phonics instruction aids in the development of word recognition by providing children with an important and useful way to figure out unfamiliar words while reading Okay. So, and, yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, 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 just one second, uh, Aditya. So when children begin to be able to recognize a large number of words quickly and accurately, reading uh, fluency also improves. Right? Reading fluency refers to the ease with which children can read a text. So when more and more words are given to the children to decode with the help of letter sounds, so. the child will become independently in reading and as well while listening to the sound when teacher dictates anything also when teacher says to write anything while listening to the teacher the child can understand the letter sounds and write by himself so the listening skills also will be along with the reading skills the uh, writing skills and the listening skills also will improve with the help of phonics so phonics oh, is God. a must an uh, important skill for an early years reader because it is not only helps in does only the early years but it beyond the early years during whole schooling i should say because when the child goes into higher uh, classes higher classes uh, middle secondary classes the words he cannot rote learn many of the terminology he cannot rote learn so with the help of the phonics the child can easily remember the spellings of the terminology the more dif most difficult terminologies okay and can phonics help slow learners yes of course phonics 
can also help slow learners i should say that we the teacher has to identify the slow learner because everyone are not same all the children are not same so the earliest the teacher identifies the slow learner and she can give more more attention to the child so that and in different like you know you are putting into different activities making uh, the child uh, do many activities individually so the child also can cope up with along, along with the children and he can also uh, be par with the other children okay and uh, any advice you would like to give to our parents or teachers yeah the most importantly is teachers because teachers are the first person a teacher is a first person to introduce anything to a child and whatever the teacher says is the benchmark for the child right so for teachers i would i would like to advise is that you have to uh, take care whenever in you are introducing the phonics you need you should not uh, just uh, for the exposure sake you should not do the phonics because um, uh, i should uh, i should say that many of the teachers they may be like you know doing uh, it's not an offensive statement many of the teachers for the exposure sake yeah we have done the phonics it should not be done like that i know uh, uh, time constraint also will be there but we can take a little time it's not a, uh, it's it's just you can you include in the curriculum and along with the whenever you are teaching the children the alphabet and all from nursery onwards the teacher can uh, uh, like you know bind with the letter of uh, uh, alphabet recognition along with that phonic uh, sound recognition letter sound recognition so it is very easy actually for the teachers to uh, teach so you can uh, the teachers are more experienced i know they are uh, they have the knowledge of the things so better we, we the mastery of the skill should be seen not just the exposure i should say and the for parents i advise parents to read lots of books to the children because when we are reading the let the sounds because we, when we are speaking also we are the sounds are coming right for each and every uh, word we speak the sounds are coming so the children the child how he understands what we say he listens to it so the sounds he listens so when we read the books lots and lots during when when the child is going to sleep or when he is in the leisure time if we sit and read aloud for the smaller children especially for the parents with smaller children from the start of 3 uh, age age of 3 if you read lots of story books to the children they listen to the sounds and they try to decode decipher the word sounds from the words and they can definitely start reading by themselves in a short time so this is my advice to parents and teachers lovely beautiful thought uh, yes a skill should not be just learned for the sake of showcasing it should be learned till the depth and children learn and copy from the environment so the parents and teachers should be the role model to inspire the children and with this i would like uh, to hand over to miss rachna to add some more knowledge and more extra into it rachna ma'am you are muted Joshna ma'am i would like to ask like as you already mentioned that certain uh, kids they are slow learners and requires special guidance or assistance yeah. but uh, see we have also been doing phonics since uh, last so many years but uh, the challenges which we face is the acceptance by the parents see once we know the any particular problem a child is facing we have a solution yeah. but but the current problem which uh, we as educators face is that the child requires special attention due to some kind of learning disability uh, but uh, the parents uh, fail to accept so how how do you uh, like how can we handle such situations in regard to phonics yes ma'am rachna ma'am actually you know yes i understand the parents uh, uh, this one also because uh, parents uh, many of the parents they don't accept whatever a teacher says because teacher simply doesn't say a teacher because she observes the ch child and after observing after observing four five times or or uh, in a four five classes or anything 
the, then only the teacher uh, approaches the parent because right. because the teacher needs the uh, association with parent help from parent because uh, actually a student is connected to teacher and parent equally right so when the teacher is saying something the parents should understand that it is the it is for the benefit of the child not the teacher yeah and right. and teacher also can convince the parents because she can give the examples she can show the things whatever uh, like you know she can uh, when especially during phonics i should say you can ask questions in front of the parent only the, to the child if the child is not able to decipher any word or decode any word or they could not understand any uh, letter sound any any could not recognize any letter sound the parent or ultimately can understand so we have to give, show the uh, like evidences i should say yeah, so, so that the parent can understand and can help from his side because any anywhere you see in academics also in academics also if parents uh, uh, parents part is not there i should say uh, how how come child grow up because parent is also equally important and teacher is also equally important yes so we need to make the parents realize yeah we need to see along with the educator the teacher and parents we can uh, teach the child uh, help the child in early reading right yes because you know uh, during uh, phonics class also we have only one hour we take one hour class right uh, one hour twice in a week or like that so most of the time the child is with the parent okay so the uh, whatever the practice happens with the parent so it is it is equally important parent also have to involve in this then right. only we can help the child to far better it should be like you know, they, they, they will definitely fare better and they can they can uh be independent see well, first and foremost thing is we should see that why parent is approaching to us for the phonics class because i am talking i am talking about phonics because the parents wants his or her child to get the knowledge of uh, the reading be an imp- independent reader independent she should be independent in all all or all, all around right like reading writing everything for that purpose they come to us so it yeah. is so we need to explain that so when uh, whenever parent approaches we have to convince them we have to make them understand what is the if the concept so what if if the parents understand the concept and it is very easy for a teacher a child also to learn further and the grasping power of the child is much more between 0 to 5 years 80% of the brain development happens during initial years so now my uh, another concern which we uh, initially in the initial years we had faced was that uh, initially when it comes to phonics like phonics or be handwriting or mental maths uh, see parents in the initial year uh, few are yes they are very much concerned about their kids but few they are reading cat mat bat ke liye kya classes lagane ka hai this is the general uh, thought of the parent and then initially when they don't uh, conduct the phonics classes and when they come into secondary standard 5th 6th 7th standard we have seen uh, parents connecting to us for the uh, kids in the secondary classes as well failing uh, to read simple sentences also not only uh, writing the uh, spellings using the syllab- uh, syllables but uh, reading is also a problem for them because initially they have not given due importance to phonics yes. so if you can if you can highlight uh, on for those students like those who are in to secondary and are having difficulties in reading so uh, just few of your observations or what we can do yeah uh, yeah and really that is a, a matter of thought actually Uh, uh because uh, i am handling now primary kids also for phonics because uh, most of the kids they are not the most of the parents they are not aware about phonics so now the uh, whatever the primary children are, who are coming to me they 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 are already into uh, like spellings and all so now uh, when the parents approach to me that they are not able to write the spellings on their own so what we should say is the parents now they have got convinced because i have given a demonstration for them like 
these are the things these are the uh, basic things the child has to learn the uh, the letter sounds and all and uh, uh, we the parents also made the child you know mentally prepared that you have to be you have to be considered yourself like a 3 year old age because otherwise the child cannot uh, uh, learn anything i should say so we have to first of all unlearn everything whatever the rote learning is happened all these years first and foremost is we have to make the child mentally prepared that you need to unlearn whatever you have done with the rote learning then purely you have to focus on the letter sounds still i feel little bit difficulty when i am taking the primary classes because they immediately say when i say when i show any word they immediately say the spelling what how it is spelled i said yes now you are in nursery so you just first focus on letter sound then blend it then say the spelling so now they have got into the uh, track then they are they understood the importance of the letter sound and the parents are also very happy for that because they started reading the newspaper also because uh, see uh, once they understand the letter sounds the whatever they have learned by rote learning also they are re- they are relating to the re- letter sounds now right so my question was ma'am that uh, can we still do the phonics part uh, for the secondary students secondary students uh, it is little bit uh, highly impossible actually because they are the mindset mindset is not mindset. willing to accept Ex- yeah that that can primary students we can we can tune them but secondary student the mindset is such because they have uh, all the years they are with the rote learning and all so it is it is little impossible i should say uh, ma'am i would just uh, give my feedback on this uh, as you know we, the world knows us as handwriting expert and our eldest student till date is 75 years so with them also we have started with alphabet okay and on four liners so they have to the acceptance has to be there once any any age group when they come to us first few classes uh, they are like a uh, little bit resistance that no we are like uh, uh, it's not our age to learn the sounds or to write the alphabets but gradually one or two classes if we uh, prepare their mindset for that that yes uh, you can do it so uh, we can uh, do on this and i know that aditya bisarya sir is also into early childhood uh, so sir we would want little bit of opinion your opinion as well on this topic well i guess uh, you both have covered up all the aspects everywhere and very well said yes uh, mindset is the most important thing one number two uh, practice makes a man perfect so the point which you highlighted yes in early years children are not able to read and write sometimes yes it is just because because of our confidence we tend to leave it and do not practice uh, yes mindset is the biggest hurdle which a good teacher can definitely help in overcoming and uh, these days i will say the teachers have to come into the role of a counselor also uh, in order to help the parents accept and uh, understand the reality of their child because as you said unless and until we don't know the cause we cannot uh, cure it and if we will not cure it the problem will remain with them forever so for a brighter future it is important to identify and cure the things in the right direction at the right time and uh, everything has been perfectly summarized and everything is there i uh, simply to add on uh, the woods are lovely la- large and deep long way before i go to sleep so we all educators have to go a long way uh, before leaving the things into the hands of our children so that they can take up the legacy further and ma'am i would just like to add on as a phonics we start from 3 years as you said okay but uh, the reading habit it is uh, usually said that the reading habit of mom should start when the child is in the womb so how how accurate it is and then i would like uh, that what you would suggest to the parents because then lastly i would also like to share my 
have used when my child was uh, like an infant. So first, we would like to know opinion from you. Yeah, actually, you are right that a mom, uh, it is uh, the reading habit has to be coming from mom because uh, whatever uh, the attachment from right from before the birth, it the baby is with mom. So whatever the mom does, it it, it is reflected with the child. Because whatever the uh, whatever mother thinks, it goes directly. Because we we say it, see uh, during during the pregnancy period, the uh, mother should be happy, because it makes the child happy, and right. so the emotions are reflected. So when mom reads, mom does anything, it ultimately goes to the child. So I all hundred percent agree that. Mom, uh, through mom, the child starts understanding the sounds. The very, right. first, very first sound, the child uh, from the child it comes, is from mom, right? Right. Right. Yeah. So, ma'am, in this, I will just share a personal uh, experience. So that when my son, uh, like uh, initially from zero to one and a half year, when the child is not able to speak. And I, I just used to read out uh, books and books and I used to feel whether is he listening, whether he's understanding. But as an old mythology, I used to read out, read out and read out. And uh, when he was one and a half year, he was just, he just started uh, saying few words. And we went out and he said, Mama, signet. So he had never, he saw signet for the first time. But while reading out, when he used to see the pictures and the story of the signet, that got registered. And as soon as he was able to speak out and he was able to read a 50 page book without uh, actually reading it by just hearing me read for days and days a 50 page book in, uh, when he was around one year, six, seven months uh, just. So reading, reading at the initial stages also helps us. And as soon as the child is ready, so early phonics classes is very much important. It is not only for reading, reading, writing, as well as then you do not need to uh, make your child rote learn the spellings as Joshna ma'am rightly said. So along with all other skills, I would say phonics is also one of the skills which the child should be learning. So I would like to thank uh, Joshua ma'am for sharing your views and Aditya Bisaria sir as always a wonderful moderator. And I would request all the parents to just have a view, watch our YouTube channel, do subscribe so that you get notified for our next skills uh, uh, talk show. Till then, see you next Saturday. Goodbye, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.